Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to integrate the advanced locomotion system into your existing project. So this advanced locomotion system is an asset available on the marketplace. It's a free asset and it's really good. So uh, here you're able to create a new project uh, rather than integrating it with an existing one. Uh, the steps were slightly confusing in the beginning, hence this video. Uh, but to be honest, they're pretty simple to follow once you know what you're doing. So uh, in order to get started, you'll want to create a project. Uh, I've just done that here. It's just a, a basic uh, project. I've, I've not modified anything. Uh, and you can see some of the features here. It's really cool. Uh, you're able to run, jump, sprint. Uh, there's some AI showing the other stuff you can do. Um, so it's a really cool asset. And uh, it'll be really nice to bring that into your existing project. So that's what we're going to show. Um, and I've also created an empty test project. So you can see this is just an empty third person uh, blueprint uh, template. So we're going to try and bring all of the things from uh, the advanced locomotion into this empty test project. Also, I've uh, put all the steps into the blog post so you can see uh, step by step what to do. Uh, and the links will be in the description. We'll use some of this stuff as reference shortly. So I'll just bring this over here. And what we can do is we'll just get right into it. So uh, from inside your uh, advanced locomotion system project, you'll want to just right click the folder and you'll want to migrate all of these files. So just select everything for now. Um, you might not necessarily be using all of it in the future, but for, for the sake of this demo, we'll select everything and then you'll be able to take out the things you don't need. Uh, we'll then go ahead and select our project and we'll bring it into, let's put it into the content. So let's bring that in. And that's actually already done. So inside here, uh, you can see we've got the new folder, Advanced Locomotion, and this has all of the things inside it, right? So for example, here's our level, we can open this level. And there it is. So by default, this doesn't actually work. So you can hear me clicking. Uh, I'm not moving, I'm not able to move the mouse either, nothing happens. So you might be wondering, like, why is that? Uh, and the reason is actually because the um, input settings are different. So if I go into the project settings here, and then I'll select input, these inputs do not match uh, the ones which are going to be on the advanced locomotion settings. So what I'll do is I'll try and uh, actually I'll show you the ones from Advanced Locomotion. So here they are. And what we want to do is uh, implement all of these inputs into your existing project. right? So uh, that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to do that with the help of this thing, because I've already uh, copied them onto the screenshot. So I'll go one by one and uh, put them in. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to delete all the ones that we have here, simply because I'm not going to use any of them. And then I'll go straight into it. So here, Okay, I've just skipped ahead where I've entered all of these actions manually. So uh, you need to make sure the action mappings and the axis mappings are all imported as expected. Make sure that the names here match exactly to what was in the other project. But these inputs for you know the uh, keyboard inputs and your mouse inputs, they can actually be different. So if you want um, a different controls for your project, you can change them. And if you do want to change these names, you'll have to find them in the blueprints as references. And just make sure you um, adjust the names inside the blueprints as well. So there we have it. We can close this now. We can click play. And now we've got the fully <coughs> working advanced locomotion system inside your existing project. Um, and everything seems to be working. So all of the motions here, the AI, so all of that is good. And just bear in mind, if you do want to start importing these um, blueprints inside your other 
uh, basically assets in, into your other map. Uh, you can find them here, so for instance this one. Uh, but there is a bit of complexity, so you might want to be disabling cer certain features. Um, I, I'm not really sure, it depends on uh, what your requirements are. Uh, but you can basically now start referencing all the bl blueprints from this advanced locomotion um, package inside your other uh, assets. Alright, and that's it. Cheers guys.